This channel is all about giving meaning to the aesthetics, whether it will be talking about the body types and how they influence the image, to trying to establish that idols do not need to be perfect to be considered beautiful. It is only normal that I will decide to make a video like this. I always like thinking of each comeback as more than just the song. Of course the music is one of the most important parts, but the whole visuals and aesthetics are relevant too, especially in K-pop. Lots of songs wouldn't be the same and reach the same fame without the MV, outfits, concept and choreography. I want to talk about the style behind each group and their comebacks, and therefore this ranking system came to be. By style, I would refer specifically to Concept, genre, look and theme of the song and album Music video, the scenes, concept and lyrics representation, edition, visual effects Outfits, this one is pretty clear the outfits used in the music video and the promotion period. Choreography. The dance is an important part of the song visuals, therefore essential to construct the style of the song. Each category will be ranked over a 5-star system, 5 being the highest grade. At the end, we get the sub of the stars, or in other words, the style tier. Just a reminder, this is my ranking, which means this is just my opinion. Everyone can have different opinions. So, don't take it too seriously. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Let's start with Idol Wa. Regarding the concept, I'll give them 4 stars. I love when groups do a follow-up of a previous concept or story. That gets them extra points. However, in their case, it may have given me too many expectations, as Han is my favorite song. All in all, I like the ethereal aesthetics and calm ambience they portray. But I would prefer it if there were less cold settings and more fire or warmth. For the music video, they get 4 stars. The video was full of imagery and beautiful focus shots. The scenes are progressive from ice to fire. However, it was a little stagnant at times, and I would have preferred if they used more CG or other female angles to make the viewer feel more immersed in the video and less like watching a film in a studio. Now comes my favorite parts. The outfits were great, they get 4 stars. I love when they add some traditional and oriental influences in the clothes. My favorites were the white outfits and the red and white ones. They represented the lyrics and aesthetic of the concept really well. They were also very cohesive and quite innovative. I would have given them full points if it weren't for some questionable and somehow chaotic outfits. Finally. The choreography gets 3.5 stars. It was really well executed and involved interesting steps that combined really well with the rhythm and lyrics of the song. It just wasn't as entertaining to watch as other choreographies. This gives us 15.5 out of 20 stars. Hyuna, I'm not cool. The concept gets 4.5 stars. I was actually waiting for a more extravagant and energetic comeback for Hyuna for a while. I also appreciate her more romantic and cute songs, but nothing compares to the badass Hyuna on stage. I'm Not Cool is really forward with the flamboyant looks and crazy moves. It's kind of addictive. I think this concept was perfect for her, and at the same time different from her other hit songs. The MB gets 4 stars. The song really needed all those colors and changes of looks. It made it very entertaining to watch. I like all the dynamic shots, my only complaint are the transitions in the video. They could have been more fluid. Outfits get 4 stars. Of course they are too flashy and even weird, but that was part of the concept. They actually were flattering to her figure most of the times, especially the silhouette of the black outfits. The outfits are also not too showy or sexy, which I used to dislike in other Hyuna comebacks. This time around, they really focused on the fashion to express the mood of the song, and it was great. P.S. This is not related to the outfits, but I love the jewels under her eyes. The last category, the choreography, can get a low score, of course. It's 4 stars. Choreography is what has defined K-pop for a long time, and this is just the epitome of addictive choreography. There is a reason why it has become a viral meme. At the end, we get 16.5 out of 20 stars. IU Celebrity The concept gets 3 stars. 
Love the song, but the concept of fame and its difficulties is very common, even if it's disguised in a song about loving yourself. This, at the end, makes it difficult for the concept to stand out or add something unique. It was well executed, but there wasn't anything new or exciting about it. The music video also gets three stars. Again, it is beautifully shot, but they use very common scenes and props. Are you looking at herself from outside? The dressing room scene, the walking through the crowd scene, the looking at yourself in the mirror, and even the red carpet scene. It's just too normal and simple. The only thing that stood out were the outfits. Which gets me to the next category. The outfits have 4.5 stars. She really took inspiration from her last drama, and all the clothes were flattering. I love the outfit so much that I would have given a full score, but the shirt and the skirt in the dance scene contrasted too much with the rest of the clothes, and it felt out of place. For the choreography, it would be unfair to grade it since she just danced on the break. Instead, I would say that the song gets 4 stars, really uplifting and easy to listen to. It just felt as if it was a song from 2016 or earlier, probably because of the drop. The final score is 14.5 out of 20 stars. Dreamcatcher of Eye For the concept, 4 stars. This is the final album from the Dystopia trilogy and the conclusion of the story. The resolution wasn't a happy one and that made it quite interesting. Also, the theme of hateful language and the digital world was especially represented in this last song and video. Probably the one that portrays the world they are talking about more faithfully. It was a new perspective to the familiar concept of dystopia with futuristic elements. The music video gets 3 stars. The themes include the perfect combination of CG and traditional filming techniques. The transitions and effects were smooth, but they recycled stages, props and effects too much. Also, it would have been better if they had better light filters and more resolution in some of the CG scenes. The outfits also get 3.5 stars. This group is known for coordinating their outfits using the same colors and fabrics, sometimes having different silhouettes for each member, and others dressing exactly the same. In Boca, I thought they started to experiment a little more with their outfits, but then they returned to the usual styling. I was expecting at least more futuristic elements in them. After all, they have had more iconic outfits. Finally, the choreography gets 4 stars. They are always synchronized and pay special attention to representing the lyrics in the dance. It is always well executed. All members seem to try the best with the choreography and for this song their strain and passion was evident. This gives us 14.5 out of 20 stars. This is the whole list of the month. I know there were lots of other comebacks, but I decided to just talk about these artists and groups to keep it short. And besides, I'm not too familiar with the other groups. Maybe in another video I will include them. Hope you liked the video. And tell me down below if you'd like to see my ranking for the month of February and which groups I should include. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.